Cassina de Becci, Castelnuovo di Asti, 1825. Giovanni, wake up! Giovanni! <laughs> Giovanni, no. Wake up, honey! <gasps> what is it? It's all right. Come and help me. You know that since your poor father passed away, it's your job to fetch the water. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, son. It was only a bad dream. Not bad, exactly. Just a bit... a bit odd. Do you want to tell me about it? I don't know. These children were fighting each other, and then... And then? Like I said, it was a bit odd. All right. I understand. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Remember, though, even if your dreams are odd, keep them in your heart. Slaving away all day, and he spends his time reading books. Giovanni's still young, and he has a knack for learning. Polenta again? Every day, polenta? And we should thank the Lord for it in these times of famine. Excuse me, Margarita, you wouldn't have any leftovers. Nicola gets paid his wages tomorrow, and... You can tell that good-for-nothing brother of yours that we don't have enough for ourselves, as is. This is not what your father taught you. And it's not what I taught you either, Antonio. We may be poor, but we're accustomed to sharing what little we have with others. <laughs> what are you laughing at? All you can do is read books. I learned how to take care of myself, and I've never read a book in my life. Well, our donkey didn't go to school either, and he's bigger and stronger than you are. Remember, I'm the one who must provide for you. As of tomorrow, you're coming to work in the fields with us. Antonio isn't mean. He's just difficult. He lost his real mother when he was very small. But I love him as if you were my own son. May God bless you for this. We haven't eaten in two days. <laughs> Thank you. Ha, 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 ha.